Well, General Motors may be going international. The Treasury is reportedly courting foreign investors to buy a stake in GM once it goes public. And China's biggest automaker, SAIC, already looking to bite. But wasn't the point of the auto bailout to keep our auto companies, well, our auto companies, ours? My next guest says if GM goes foreign, the entire Bella was pretty much a waste. Cato Institute senior fellow Dan Mitchell joins me. Um, Dan, what's weird about this? Remember the Sunoco oil deal where where China entity would would have, you know, an entry into our oil playing market, and Chuck Schumer led the rally cry against that, and now here we are going back to those days, and it's all fine. Well, let's first. Take a glass half full look at this. At least the government is unloading some of its shares of General Motors, or government motors, we should say. I guess they own, what, 61 percent now? And, and if this IPO is successful, they'll be right. down to 49 percent. But the very fact that Treasury is scrambling to find somebody to buy the stock is proof positive that the bailout wasn't successful. Uh, we wound up with the unions not taking nearly the haircut that they needed to take. And, of course, we got that backdoor subsidy with partial UAW ownership of the auto companies. No matter how you look at this thing, it's a bad deal, and all we're trying to figure out now is how we can minimize the long-term damage to American taxpayers. Now, that's why I'm leaving out, you know, there are a lot of people who fear, for national security reasons, China owning a chunk of our largest uh, car maker, and that, you know, GM can just as easily make tanks, and you don't want the Chinese having tanks, et cetera, et cetera. I wish I had time to address that, but I really want to focus on how this was sold to us back then at the time of the bailout, that this would keep them sovereign entities and, and let them do their own thing. Um, we could have easily just played out the bankruptcy process in which this and other opportunities and possibilities would have come up in, 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 in due course anyway, but we didn't. Um, so now we're back to what would have been entertained with a normal bankruptcy filing and the normal give and take that private concerns do in bankruptcy. Well, two things to understand. First, Foreign investors or even foreign companies have always had the ability to buy GM stock or Ford stock, uh, so that was never really an issue. W the reason we're seeing this big interest in SAIC now is because the IPO is not likely to be very successful, because the entire purpose of the bailout was to bail out the UAW, not to bring the companies themselves back to profitability. So if you're SAIC or any other investor and you're looking at a UAW that still hasn't made its Self, uh, efficient, a UAW that is still fixated on protecting inefficient work practices, you're probably not happy to invest in yeah, the company. Yeah, but you know, the, uh, I think that's it comes what Treasury's back, worried about. No, my point, I think it comes back to beggars can't be choosers, right? I mean, if you need the dough badly enough, you'll make a deal with Tony Soprano. And if Tony Soprano, i.e. China, or whatever the given country is at the time that we might not be very close to, offers to take a big chunk off your, your, your back, you go to the folks taking a big chunk off your back. It's sad, but I think that's what drives this, right? Well, let's not for, forget that GM already has partnerships with SAIC and other companies all around the world, foreign automakers. And GM actually is doing okay in China. And what we may be seeing here is just part of a long-run trend because the UAW is so inefficient and entrenched and inflexible, and because our corporate tax rate is so high, we may see a continued erosion of manufacturing here in the U.S. and it's shifting to other countries. Now, I'm all in favor of free trade, uh, but I don't like the fact that our government has policies that are making it difficult for companies to create jobs here. And so if mm -hmm. GM winds up getting hollowed out and SAIC and other foreign companies wind up getting more production, and if that's the result of bad government policy, then rather just than the result of uh, a free trade, then we should look at Washington with a lot of anger. Well, I'm going to step back even further. I wish we had more time, Dan. If they had just sold this as a potential possibility back then with the rescue, we would, of course, said no, because we would have said, well, then just let the whole private thing do its thing. But we didn't. Um, Dan Mitchell, Cato, thank you very much.